Hi, and welcome to Empower House Pilates with Michelle and Cindy. This is our beginner plank workout video. So we're gonna be slowly building this foundation of your plank. So what does that include? Strong abdominals, strong arms, strengthening the upper back and connecting the legs into your powerhouse. So go ahead and grab your mat and let's get started. Okay, so we are gonna start lying down on our backs and we are gonna do the 100 just to get a good warm up here and to focus on that abdominal strength. So go ahead, hug your knees into your chest. Good. Give that lower back a little stretch. And as you're pulling these knees in, also try to keep that pelvis level neutral. So we're working on the lower back strength already. Abdominals, good. Bring your legs to a tabletop position. Now, always you have the option to put your head down on the mat to keep that long line of your spine. We're working on building our plank, right? That just spinal strength here. So go ahead, start pumping your arms up and down, breathing in and out. Two, three, four, five. Option to lift the head and look into your powerhouse, fully up with the head or fully down. There's no in between. You can keep it up for a few pumps and if you get tired with the neck, you can put it down. Good, deep breath, inhale. Two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, five. Tense your legs like you're literally a table, like you're holding something very heavy with your legs. You have to be strong here. Strong against those pumps. Breathe in and out. Two, three, four, five. Deep inhale. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Two more in. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Deepening into your center. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. Hug your knees in. Now we're going to flip over into our all fours position on your hands and your knees. Okay, so again, feel like that mat is at your back now. Maybe a low ceiling. You wanna feel from your head down through your tailbone that you're lengthening along that long mat at your back. So you're being pulled apart in both directions and that will help to keep that stability of your pelvis. Okay, so we're not gonna move the pelvis whatsoever. You're gonna slide your right leg out behind you holding those hips strong, go deep within yourself. Good, bend that knee and put it back down. Switch, left leg moves, pelvis level, long and stable. Put it back down, knee right under the hip and slide the right leg out, long waist, long pelvis. Now, if you can, try lifting this leg off the mat. And the higher the leg goes, the more abdominal connection you have to find. That's it. Now, see that right hip likes to lift a little. Let's pull it back down so your hip stays square, looking like headlights down at your mat. And then go ahead, put that knee right back down under that hip. Slide the left leg out with control. It lifts up. Just slightly feel the back of that leg active, working, stomach lifting. Feel that length from head to toe, and then put that knee right back down under the hips. And go again with the right leg. Hold that pelvis steady and strong. Lift the leg, now stay here. If you'd like to add on, slide that left arm. Your left arm can reach forward. Keeping the pelvis square, your shoulders square to your mat like a box a rectangle with your torso, and then put everything back down. Pelvis steady, take that left leg back, slightly lift it up, connected to the abdominals. Now right arm can reach forward if you like. Hold this square, torso to your mat, stable and steady and reaching, and then put everything back down, good, sit back towards your heels and just give your hips a little stretch. We're gonna flip back over onto our backs for the single leg stretch. So again, 
working on this abdominal strength, putting all the pieces together to build our plank. Grab a hold of your right leg. You can hold both hands behind that thigh. Left leg reaches out and it can go down maybe 45 degrees. I wouldn't go any lower than that. Now with those hands, press your thigh into your hands and feel again that pelvis level into your mat. I want you to keep that pelvis steady as you switch left leg. Press into your hands. Switch right leg. Press. Yes, and switch press switch and press and again you can put the head down at any point if your neck gets super tired you want to though lift that head up enough to where you feel your abdominal muscles holding your head and it's less about the neck muscles good right leg and left leg and right and left breathe in and in breathe out and out breathe in and in breathe out and out now hug both legs in go ahead rest your head for a second heels together toes apart hands behind the thighs your knees in that tabletop 90 degree angle position again go ahead lift the head up pushing those legs into your hands giving yourself some resistance here some pressure inhale reach up arms and legs Circle the arms and then grab on to the legs again as they bend. Inhale, go straight up. Circle the arms and grab the legs. Look into that powerhouse. Inhale, up, scoop, exhale and grab. Again, keep that pelvis steady. That's your rock. That's your anchor. Breathe in as you reach up and exhale, grab on. Inhale, feel those legs strong, connected into your abdominals. Another piece of the puzzle for building our plank. One more time, reach up, exhale, and in. Good, now flip over again into all fours position. Good, okay. Now, again, with the stability of the pelvis, press into your hands. You're gonna slide your right leg back behind you. Now, tuck your toes, okay? So you're in a one-legged plank position. I want you to think again about that pelvis. Keep it strong, stabilized, and now take that left leg back to meet the right leg. Let's bring the heels together in your Pilates stance here. Feel those legs strong and somehow connected up into that high waist, those high-waisted jeans on those mom jeans. Now put your right knee back down under the hips and the left knee back down. Good. Keep that upper body strong, pressing into the floor. If your wrists start to get sore, you can always make fists and come up onto your knuckles. Okay, now left leg. Slide it behind you, hold that pelvis steady, level, supported. And now take the right leg back, strong hips, strong stomach, zip your legs up into your waist. Go ahead, put your right knee down right under the hip and other leg down under the hip. Yes, let's do that one more time. Right leg goes back, left leg goes back. Hold that strong plank, hold that pelvis steady, control it. Put the right knee down and the left knee down. Good, and last time, right leg back, left leg back, and put the right knee down with control and the left knee down with control. Go ahead, sit back onto your heels and get a nice stretch again, yes. Good. Okay, again, flip over onto your back. Let's do one more abdominal exercise. Hug both legs into your chest and take both legs straight up to the ceiling. The single leg pull. So you're gonna grab your right leg. Option to hold either behind the thigh or if you have the flexibility to hold up towards your ankle, you can do that. You can also do this one with your head down on the mat as well. Go ahead, pull twice. Pull, pull. Now switch. Pull, pull and switch. Yes, that other straight leg just goes down maybe 45 degrees, no lower. And as your legs are moving, your pelvis is level, steady, and strong, anchored into that mat. So you don't have to make it big with the legs. It can be small. This is all about control here, control of what the hips are doing, using those lower abdominals and your lower back. Pull, 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 
Pull, pull, pull, pull, good. And relax, both legs hug in. Now we're gonna flip over into a plank position, but you are gonna be on your knees. We're gonna work on building the strength of the arms. So heels together, knees apart, just in line with your hips, hands right underneath the shoulders. Now again, press down into your hands. You wanna press onto the, uh, just below the knuckles of your hands, right? So you press there, or you can do this on fists too. Okay, press in strong with your hands. You're gonna bend your elbows in nice and tight to your ribs, a little tricep push up and push away. Good, and do that again, bend, and press away. Now as you go down, keep the connection of your abdominals into your back and keep the strength also in your legs. And bend and press and bend and press and bend and push and resist and press. All the strength is in your center. Bend and press one more time. Bend and push. Sit back your hips onto your heels. Little child's pose, stretch. Lengthen out the arms and drop your head down. Awesome work, you guys. You are all done. We'll see you back here next time.